Hey guys, so Sasha and I are driving from our temporary home base in New Hampshire up to a place in Maine. We found a six and a half by 14 foot enclosed cargo trailer and uh, the guy kind of partially converted it to a camper. We are planning to move the vast majority of the stuff that I've been storing with a family member down to Arizona as we look for kind of a new home base. Yeah, I guess we're very excited about the trailer but we're also nervous. Uh, we're so used to our truck camper. We like the fact that we can go pretty much anywhere we want, but with a trailer it's going to be a lot more difficult to find food docking and we will not be as nimble as we would like to be. Our plan right now is that we would drive basically straight to Arizona. If we can find a campground where we can just park it, use it as a, a cargo area and like a little workshop type thing, and then we can take off from there and travel. So it'll be the beginnings of our new home base. This is it. We've got an AC, little shower, which we probably won't use. This will be turned into storage. I might just actually remove the shower, but I'm not sure. Got some lighting, and then we got some more lighting over here. Wow, it's actually bright in here. So the great thing was the guy installed all the paneling. It's very basic, but I don't have to do all of this. This I'm going to remove. It's a portable AC. It is vented outside, so it works quite well, but it takes up too much space. I'd like to probably do like a mini split somewhere. Little cabinets, countertop, fridge, which again, I don't know if we'll actually use any of this stuff. Microwave, some storage underneath. I was able to snag some Def today. I finally found it at Walmart for 10 bucks a jug. Got a Wifco box. I don't know. Oh, that's the water pump. Oops. And I like the little hooks. Oh, yeah, he did the little hooks. And this came with this little step stool, whatever you call it. I Just think to get built it. in and out. Yeah. But no, uh, I'm very happy with it. It looks really nice. I'm really excited to bring our stuff and kind of make sure that, that everything fits. But so far, I'm very impressed. It'll just be a nice place that we can, you know, I can record videos in here. We can store parts. I can keep my camera gear like up in there. Yeah. It'd be really nice to have a separate place to work. That's if not. If I can have my lesson while you're editing or something, that would be great. Yeah. All right. So we started kind of updating the, the the trailer already, but before I do, I want to record a little before. So we just have the bed. We took the mattress off so far. We have some storage underneath. There's a water tank, water pump. I'm gonna have to relocate some of this stuff. The floor is nicely sealed. Probably store some light stuff up here. We still have a bunch of other stuff in storage at my sister's house. And we're hanging out at Lowe's. This has been our, our setup for a long time. We just had some boxes and we're gonna be putting the seats back in. So like this platform I made, this thing, I'm gonna repurpose all the lumber to build some shelving and stuff in the camper and this should be all mostly cleaned out and all of the stuff up here is light it's like a sleeping bag backpack no real weight up there because we didn't want projectiles towards our head if we got in an accident of course as we go through this we're gonna throw away whatever we can because i think there's a lot of things in here we haven't touched in almost three years <laughs> let me just show you quickly what's in here and then we're gonna do the work and then we'll show you the the end result we got our air compressor and battery charger stuff our water jugs tools tire chains, paper towels. This is an electric blanket for the winter. This is like our swimming stuff, some dust. We're also looking forward to actually really cleaning the truck. Armor all and wipe it all down. It's getting filthy. Camper's in great, I should say the trailer, 
is in great shape. Originally, we just wanted a regular storage trailer, cargo trailer. It does have two brand new propane tanks under there. I'll have to come up with a better solution than that. Has the factory battery, um, which is still working surprisingly. I got a new hitch on order because we had to do this to get it low enough. He said he only put about maybe 300 miles on this in total. You can actually tell, <laughs> like, the labels are still on it, even on the brake rotors, on the brake drums, I should say, there's still the, the paper stickers. So not a lot of miles. Tires are virtually new. No dry rot yet. And it came with one of these nice Max Air fans. Love it. Great. We are going to get to work. I don't think you guys actually want to watch us transfer all our stuff. So we're going to do that and then we'll show you what we come up with later today. Sounds good. I'm moving stuff. All right, so it's mostly cleaned out. We got a few little miscellaneous items. Stuff like this needs to stay in the truck. It's getting there. There's actually, you know, not as much stuff in here as we thought. And it all fits neatly in the trailer. Let me show you. We're still sorting out items, throwing away whatever's unnecessary. So that's pretty much it. And then I got the chairs. So I, I got to fill this space with something. I'm not sure what. Might make a little storage box for the Starlink. I don't think we're gonna need the shower. I might leave these partitions up because he did all the wiring. We got light switches. Get rid of all of this and then just build some nice deep shelves with like a, you know, some type of way to secure it in. And then all of that stuff, backpacking equipment, sleeping bags, chairs, would fit neatly in here. All the light stuff can go in the back because that's behind the wheels. At some point, I'm probably gonna put some decent batteries in here, an inverter. So I have self-contained power, maybe a little solar on the roof, and I'd want that over the axles. So either a box here or maybe like a little foot rest area. No idea. We're kind of figuring it out as we go. We're pretty excited. We didn't realize how much space it frees up in the truck. It'll be nice to have rear seats again. And Sasha just brought some Applebee's because we're mm. starving. Hungry. Thank you, honey. Time to eat. Look how glamorous our dining area is. We're so hungry, I can't wait. All right, back to the interview. This is kind of the end of uh, day one or two. That's all neatly stacked up here. It's perfect. These jugs are gonna probably go back in the truck and I'm gonna put one of these totes up there. And then we have our tailgate for the truck under here. And that won't go anywhere. See, those are the old cushions for the camper. And then we get some old quilts and stuff like that in the shower. And that's pretty much everything. Probably gonna make a little bracket for my Starlink so it's always accessible. Almost all the tools that you see out are gonna go back under the bed. These, we have yet to figure out what to put in there. Nothing heavy. Maybe, what would you say, like paper towels? And... Yeah, some extra sewing paper, paper towels, something like that. And then under here, I think we'll keep all of our excess, the big refill bottles to refill our little ones. But they always take up too much space. So if we can put our, like, like our bulk stuff out here. Windex, stuff like that, yeah. So the nice thing is, is it's mostly made of wood, so I can just put a screw pretty much anywhere I want. For these ratchet straps, I just put a couple of D-rings and makes it much easier. So it's kind of, you know, it's somewhat livable, but it's also fairly utilitarian. But I think that's enough for today. I'm tired, I wanna go home. Sounds good. Just hot. All right, we'll update you when we have another update. See you later.